everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my art and graphic design channel 2022. Let's get this year going um, and let's start by <laughs> reviewing the past, shall we? So if you don't know, I was on Adobe Live recently in December and yes, it was like the craziest opportunity that I got. I was so excited. Um, it was awesome and it was really fun like truly really fun. It was two days of streams. So it was like two hours each day of streams. And that was like a lot. <laughs> so like I said, I had a great time, really fun, but <laughs> with all the pressure and with working while like talking on live, I've never really been on a live before. I don't do lives really. Maybe I should, but like it was a lot of pressure. It was kind of scary. And I did have a few breakdowns about it, I'll be honest. So with the Adobe Live, I did a brand called Fold and it was like a clothing brand where it was donation based and something that you could go like shop at and donate your clothes at and it would be secondhand. It was focused on like sustainability and just like trendiness. Um, and it was a really fun brand. So go check out the Adobe Live, but I also need to kind of redeem myself. It was nerve wracking, it was a lot of pressure, and to be honest, when I do work, sometimes I feel very rushed and then I get scared that it's not really me. And that's kind of what this felt like, at least on like the first day. I really rallied and pulled it together for like day two, but on the first day I was really overwhelmed and so I just felt like I wasn't doing work that felt like me or at least I felt like I had more to give. So what I'm going to be doing right now is designing and talking a bit more about like the experience and how I feel and it kind of made me reassess like my career which sounds so dramatic but it just made me reassess like what I want to do moving forward. So I'm going to design a little bit of like a different version of the brand logo. Um, you guys have probably seen it, but if you haven't, this is what it looks like. And I am proud of how it turned out. I thought it was like really cute, really fun, a great stream overall. I had a great time, but let's do something a little bit different because I just feel like I have so much more inside me to give. And sometimes I get frustrated with myself that I didn't do the things I should have done. Okay, so welcome to Paola's uh, Adobe Live Redemption arc. Um, not that I need redemption, like truly I try not to live with regrets with my design work, but it did make me reassess what I wanted to do, um, just in general, like with my career, what I'm doing, and I think what it made me realize with this, I'm, I'm just gonna talk while I design, sorry guys, I have so much to say, <laughs> but what I decided to do with this truly was that I just really realized that I, I rush and I don't prep as much as I should and it just makes my work look rushed honestly or look n not well thought out or whatever so it really disappointed me <laughs> like it disappoints me when I do that because I'm disappointing myself I'm not going to the best of my abilities I'm not doing what I have set out to do in my head or you know I look at inspiration online and I think why am I not doing that like what am I what's wrong with me you know <laughs> and it's like there's nothing wrong with me I'm just like kind of putting my myself in a box by overthinking or not thinking enough or whatever so it's like there's so many there's so many factors to making me think too much and too little and then not being prepared so what i'm gonna do here with the fold logo you guys have probably seen it if you haven't like i said go watch the live like it was still great and fun and i still am proud of it um and proud of the brand i created um but with this i'm just gonna like kind of create a different version of the logo like that's also what's fun about like imagined brands is that we can just keep going and keep going and like really expand on things and change them up so many times. I mean, they're not for any specific thing. The project might never be done and that's okay. What's wrong with that? So I'm just gonna like look through a few of these fonts and in the live I did do like uh, my own font that I was like creating, like I drew out. And I think what happened there is that maybe I didn't like it in the end because it was something I did like that. when when I usually love working with like existing fonts, um, but I just felt like the pressure to do something a little bit more, like it made me feel the pressure to, to like go all out. And I think that's where I did get frustrated too, is that I was like, should I have done this? Like maybe I should have just gone with like my gut. And I think that's what the, what's the problem sometimes is that I'm not going with my gut. So I've chosen like a few fonts and this is kind of like the direction I wanted to go in. I do like the wide bold look a little bit more, um, which was like kind of the vibe I went with on the live stream. Um, I love this one. This one's Brie. It's a font on Adobe fonts if anyone is interested because look at that F. Check that out. What the heck? Okay. So anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to take the pen tool and I'm going to um, connect some of these letters, but first I'm going to like kind of bring them apart 
just to see what we can do but maybe you guys can relate to this um you know imposter syndrome i really didn't feel like i was good enough <laughs> to be there and i think that was part of my anxiety about it um it felt like i just wasn't talented enough and i'm i feel like people are gonna see through me and then of course there was like one comment of someone saying that i looked inexperienced and i'm like oh here we go my worst fear you know <laughs> so it was a lot of like emotional stuff for me which sounds so dramatic like this whole thing sounds so dramatic but really it was great it just was like such a learning experience for me i think with imposter syndrome we just get so in our heads about like not being good enough or not being whatever enough and i just feel like that we need to get rid of that because we're all good designers and we're all figuring it out on our own like doing our own things and there's so many different ways to do things you know so it's never like oh you're inexperienced it's like what's your style how do you do things you know so i don't know imposter syndrome obviously is the worst so <laughs> i feel you if you're in that boat i'm also in that boat even with the platform i have because i'm out there in front of more people being like i don't know what i'm doing just as much as anybody else like i'm here to help and talk about my journey so I'm, I don't like to look like the expert even though that's kind of the position I've been put into I think which can be scary <laughs> and I love working with typefaces like this so like for me I think I just did feel a lot of pressure to like do more in the live because it just felt like maybe this wasn't enough and then I set myself up you know <laughs> to be like frustrated with myself because I can do like stuff like this and it's still valid and it's still good like it doesn't need to be everything you know my own or whatever you know I don't know there's just so much to it that I just think I overthought it and I scared myself <laughs> okay so I kind of like that but I want to make it a little bit different okay so I'm just smoothing these edges and figuring out like shapes and how it's gonna flow the best so I actually really like this um there's just like a few characteristics that are like more unique and very bold obviously and that's what I really like about it you know I just wanted to do something a little bit different and talk about like why I was a little stressed and honestly it was probably because I was putting pressure on myself and probably because I feel like I rush things and overall I think I realized about my career is that I really need to take the time to do what I want to do and do it the way I want to do it and not put the pressure on myself and think I'm not good enough. I think imposter syndrome totally ruins <laughs> what any like creative endeavor you're gonna try to do. It totally ruins it. So um, I think that's why I just was frustrated and I definitely learned a lot through this experience. Like like definitely <laughs> so combining this looks really cute in my opinion um and if we made it like a certain color or anything it would look i think even more interesting like if we made it like a red it would look really cool like a really light like periwinkle color um there's just so many options let me know if you guys want to see me expand this brand even more and then make like a whole video on it um so yeah i don't know that would be fun maybe and I'm doing a lot right now with uh, moving and everything so this was kind of like the video I wanted to do to just like review and then talk about where I wanted to take things you know I want to take things in a whole new direction and just really listen to myself and do the things that I have in my head because I know I'm capable and you are capable too with your creative endeavors trust me so if you liked this video please give it a like if you like this version of the logo let me know um let's talk about the Adobe live let's have a discussion and talk about like type logos in general um what do you guys think so i'll see you in my next video um which will be probably in a little while i'm moving very soon so we'll let me get that rolling and then i'll come back um so yeah i will see you in the next video subscribe if you're not subscribed okay talk to you later bye Also, if you're interested, my Patreon has so many different new benefits. Everything is different now on there, and you will get a lot more stuff if you gain access, even at the $1 level. It's amazing and worth it and really supports me and my channel, so check it out in the description.